trains cross the continent in a swirl of dust and thunder. The leaves fly down the track behind them. The great trains cleave through gulch and gully. They rumble with spoke thunder on the bridges over the powerful brown wash of mighty rivers. They toil through hills. They skirt the rough brown stubble of shorn fields. They whip past empty stations in the little towns, and their great stride pounds its even pulse across America. Field and hill and lift and gulch and hollow, mountain and plain and river, a wilderness with fallen trees across it, a thicket of bedded brown and twisted undergrowth, a plain, a desert, and a plantation, a mighty landscape with no fenced niceness, an immensity of fold and convolution that can never be remembered, that can never be forgotten, that has never been described, weary with harvest. The immeasurable richness embrowned with autumn, rank, crude, unharnessed, careless of scars or beauty. Everlasting and magnificent, a cry, a space, an ecstasy. American earth in old October. And the great winds howl and swoop across the land. They make the distant roaring and great trees and boys in bed will stir in ecstasy, thinking of demons and vast swoopings through the earth. All through the night there is the clean, the bitter rain of acorns and chestnut burrs are plopping to the ground, and often in the night there is only the living silence, the distant frosty barking of a dog, the small clumsy stir and feathery stumble of the chickens on the limed roosts. And the moon, the low and heavy moon of autumn now barred behind the leafless poles of pines, now at the pine woods brooding edge and summit, now falling with ghost dawn of milky light upon rhymed clods of the fields and on the frosty scurf of pumpkins. Now whiter, smaller, brighter, hanging against the church's spire's slope, hanging the same way in a million streets, steeping all the earth in frost and silence. Then a chime of frost-cold bells may peal out on the brooding air, and people lying in their beds will listen. They will not speak or stir. Silence will gnaw the darkness like a rat, but they will whisper in their hearts. Summer has come and gone, has come and gone, and now... But they will say no more, they will have no more to say, they will wait listening, silent and brooding as the frost to time, strange ticking time, dark time that haunts us with the briefness of our days. They will think of men long dead, of men now buried in the earth, of frost and silence long ago, of a forgotten face, and a moment of lost time. And they will think of things they have no words to utter. And in the night, in the dark, in the living, sleeping silence of the towns, the million streets, they will hear the thunder of the fast express, the whistles of the great ships upon the river. What will they say then? What will they say?